Hi guys, in today's video, I'm going to be doing my January favorites. It feels like I have not filmed a monthly favorites in so long, which I haven't. So I have quite a bit of products and I'm really excited to share them with you. Let me take out my gum. I'm gonna start with makeup because I have quite a bit of things to get through. The first thing that I found myself using so much this month, also I should say some of these products I really loved in December, but I don't do a monthly favorites in December, so that's why I have so many. But uh, the Tartlet and Bloom palette, you guys, I love this palette so much. I don't have it on today. The tones in this palette, they're perfect. You have neutrals, you have warms. I, ugh, everything about this palette I love. Um, it does only have three shimmery colors and shimmer colors tend to be my favorite type of eyeshadows But I just really find that I like this palette so much um, If you are a neutral girl, this is gonna be like everything So I've really been liking that next is gonna be a blush and this is the NARS blush in Angelica I actually have this on today as you can see in the pan, it looks very bright, but on it looks kind of more subtle. And I've been wearing this blush in a lot of my looks this month. I like it because it has a little bit of shimmer in it. Oh, sorry. And I don't know, it's just a fun color. I remember once when I was working at Sephora, a guy came in and he was a performer and he wanted a blush that would really pop on stage. And I showed this to him because he was around my skin color. And the first thing he said was, oh my gosh, no, it's so bright but I swatched it on him and he loved it so if you're looking for something to just give you like a little pop of color and you're around my skin tone try Angelica out if you are lighter than me this will look so fabulous on you as well but I definitely think this is a color that anybody can wear um, it's just what you pair with it and how much you build it up but this is one of my favorites. You guys know NARS blushes are like the best of the best to me. Okay, next we have a highlighter. I actually have this highlighter on today, if you guys can tell. I just recently started back with my love of highlighter. I don't know what happened, but for a couple of months there, I was not wearing highlighter at all. This is the Becca highlighter in Topaz. Looks like this. This is a perfect highlighter for anybody who is deeper, or if you are lighter, you can use this as a blush topper, but this is so pretty. Like, I know everybody is into the Anastasia highlighters and a lot of the other brands, but um, I find that Becca highlighters are nice. I'm not the type of person who feels like they need tons of highlighters. So for me, this product works really well and I do love it. Now let's get into lippies. The first lippy is Kat Von D, no, Kat Von D Double Dare, and I will swatch these. So this is like a terracotta color, really pretty. It can lean red, not red, but it can lean kind of pink. But I think depending on what lip liner you pair it with, this is just such a pretty color and I love it. Next we have my ultimate favorite nude liquid lipstick. This is Huda Beauty Lip Liquid Matte Lipstick in the color Trendsetter. Now, I will say that I'm not a fan of the formulation. It's right there. Because it's very thin and liquidy. It smells like really sugary vanilla, which is okay. It's a little off-putting. But the biggest thing to me is just that this formula is so slippery, so when you apply it, it will slide around on your lips. And I don't necessarily like that, but once it dries down, it does take a while to dry down as well. Oh, I love it. It's like the perfect warm nude. I'm obsessed. <laughs> Next, I have my perfect, like, mauve cool tone nude, and this is MAC Lipstick in Whirl. Oh, so Whirl is right there. As you can see, it's a really cool toned lipstick, and it's just so perfect. Um, I think it looks great on everybody. If you are darker, I would just pair it with a darker lip liner, but oh, I just love that lipstick so much. And then the last lippy is actually um, Anastasia Potion Lip Gloss, which is everything. Like, look how dark it is. This is a lip gloss. This is why I love Anastasia lip glosses, because they're just everything. Do y'all see that? 
do y'all see that that is a lip gloss <laughs> this color is so pretty um, I like the texture it's not too thick it is very smooth and long-lasting I will say though that this is kind of hard to apply for me I don't know if I'm just not good at applying lip products but I have trouble with this I think if I start lining my lips it will be a lot easier but of course I'm lazy but this is definitely a really nice um, lip gloss okay um I have two nail products one is going to be this nail polish that I'm actually wearing now do you guys see that like whoo, can we just have a moment of silence I love this nail polish it's formula x for Sephora in the color blazing to me it's like the perfect like sh not shimmery but kind of like metallic finished burgundy so pretty I've had it on my feet all month and actually last month too and I am in love with this color Oh, and my next polish type product is something that I'm going to do a whole video on because everybody needs to know about this product. I posted it on Instagram. I told all the women I know who do their nails. I need to tell Kelly because I don't think I told her. But you guys, if you do your nails at home or get your nails done in the salon but don't do like a gel manicure or artificial nails, you need this product. Hands down, if you're going to buy one thing out of this whole favorites, you need this. This is the American Classics Jealous Advanced Nail Gel Coat. It looks like this. You probably can't really see it because it's um like lime green. I purchased this from Sally's Beauty Supply for about $5.00. And you guys, I was looking for something for my nails because if you watched Vlogmas last month, I kept um, press on nails on, but I actually glued them on because I'm not, I just don't really want to spend $30 every couple of weeks to get my nails done. So I was looking for a cheaper alternative. Then I came across this product. Okay, so let me hurry up and tell you guys about it. So this can be used as a base coat. You can use it in between layers of applying your regular polish and then it can be used as a top coat. It makes my nails look so shiny, nice, and also it kind of strengthens them. Now, I have really dry, brittle nails. They're not brittle at to the point where they're cracking, but brittle to the point where my nails peel. So if they get too long, they will start peeling off in layers. They're also very thin, and especially after you take gel or artificial um, acrylics off, your nails can be kind of damaged. So they were very weak. But also, like as I'm going through my day-to-day, things like this morning I went to CVX I got in my car and I touched my steering wheel and my thumbnail bent usually that will cause my polish to crack not with this my nails last a week a whole week without looking ratchet now usually by like the third or fourth day I have some minor chips this lasts all week and the only reason why I started cracking or chipping was because I washed my hair so this is going to be my staple from now on if I go get my nails done at the salon which I probably won't I'll be bringing this um, I just do it regularly I use it as a base coat I don't put it in between the layers of the polish but I do use it as a top coat and then I try to go kind of like on the edge of my nail but this baby is absolutely everything I promise just try it you're gonna love it I will link this down below because that's how easy I want it to be for you to find this <laughs> okay oh my goodness I forgot one makeup item actually two this is the covergirl queen all day flawless foundation this is number q805 amber glow I started using this during vlogmas because I wanted a foundation that I could wear day to day that wasn't as expensive as my NARS sheer no my NARS all day luminous I forgot how much I love this foundation. It's not as full coverage as my NARS, but I think just for day-to-day -day running errands, going, you know, to lunch or something, this is perfect when you don't have to look beat down. But if you have really good skin, you can probably wear this and look amazing. But I love this. I actually had to purchase it online because they don't sell the CoverGirl Queen any near anywhere near me which is a whole nother topic but we won't get into that the last product I love is my Laura Mercier loose translucent setting powder I have it on today um this is not something that I tend to use a lot I like using tinted powders but for some reason I've started using this this month and I really like it I set my under eye concealer I set the laugh lines and anywhere that I tend to get shiny and I just 
I love this product. It's nothing like too fancy about it. I mean, it's just a loose translucent powder, but it's very, very finely milled. I like it better than the Sasha Buttercup, but that one is tinted. Um, just an all around great product. If you're looking for a loose translucent setting powder, I would recommend this. It is kind of pricey, but I love it. Now let's get into some miscellaneous items. I have two candles because you guys know if you watch Vlogmas, I went candle shopping quite frequently. So the two candles I've been loving, one is Sweater Weather. Mm, this candle is just everything. And thank you to Lanika because she told me that I should light two wicks instead of three because sometimes when I light all three wicks, any Bath and Body Works candles, they make me sneeze. So I started lighting two of them and I just alternate. Um, this smells like peppermint and lavender to me. I just really like it. So pretty much I'm using up all those winter candles that I went crazy on. And the next one is Marshmallow Fireside. This is an OG. Mmm. It just smells so warm and inviting. I love this. It's making me think of Christmas. I'm so sad that Christmas is over, but love, love that candle. Okay, now let's get into face stuff, skincare. I don't know why I can't think. The first thing that I really love this month is the Peter Thomas Roth Rose Stem Cell Cleanser. Now I bought a ton of these while I was working at Sephora. This is one of those products where I don't think you need to spend as much money as I spent on it. I believe this retails for around $38, which in my opinion is very expensive for a cleanser just because you're washing it off. I will say though that this is very concentrated and I did stock up on these when I was working at Sephora because I had a discount, but um, I love this cleanser so much. It's so hydrating. Um, it has rose stem cell, which is supposed to be really good for anti-aging and reparative. Anytime I have like something go wrong, like one time I had, what did I have? Did I have like um, a rash from a product? I used this and this really helped. I just love this. It says repairs, renews, illuminates, um, it's reparative, it has Pale Rose, White Rose, Damas Rose, Desert Rose, Rose Extract, Rose Hip, Rose Hip Seat, Rose Water. It's a rose cleanser and it's amazing. And I've been using it in conjunction this month with my Ferreo Luna 2 in the combination model. I will leave my video review down below to where I talk about this product. I love this in the winter because it's very gentle and I also have the one that graduates in thickness as far as the silicone nubs. Um, this is everything it's not abrasive it's good for applying serums to your face i just love this when i want something that's calming and not as abrasive as a clarisonic and the last skincare product i have is my josie marin whipped argan oil butter in the scent lavender you guys know i'm obsessed with this it smells so good mm, i wish you guys could smell this because this is the lavender smell that i love so many lavender smells are artificial, but this one is just amazing. It's very hydrating. I just put it on my hands. I will forever buy this. It is expensive for what it is, but some products I think are worth it just because of the smell and consistency, and this is one. Okay, so the one miscellaneous, actually I have two miscellaneous items this month. <laughs> one is a coffee. This is the Keurig Green Mountain Coffee in Toasted Marshmallow Mocha. And I actually got these for Christmas because I love coffee. This tastes so good, just like a toasted marshmallow. I use um, French vanilla or vanilla creamer with it and it is divine. Um, today was actually the first time I've been to Starbucks in over a month because I'm trying to just cut back on how much money I spend on useless things. And I've really been enjoying trying different varieties of coffee. Um, I believe my mom got this from Publix, but this is really awesome. Okay, and the last thing this month, you guys are probably gonna laugh, but it's a toothbrush. <laughs> I got this in my stocking. Um, every year my mom gets me dental hygiene stuff because I love dental hygiene, but this is like the one category where I hate spending money. Like, I will wait to get a toothbrush. I don't know why, but this toothbrush is amazing and i know you're probably laughing this is the colgate 360 okay this is what it looks like 
I promise you guys, this toothbrush gives you such a clean feeling. I use it with the Crest toothpaste because I feel like that also gives me a fresh feeling, but these are the softest bristles I've ever had on an electric toothbrush that's not like a Panasonic, really expensive toothbrush. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna write this down and I will forever buy these toothbrushes. So, basically just the circular part spins I believe that's it but the little nubs on the back vibrate and this just gives you such a clean invigorating feeling and I know why they call it a 360 because it just feels like as you're putting it over your teeth it's cleaning everywhere like oh my gosh this toothbrush you guys just try it I promise you'll like it I promise I don't use regular toothbrushes because I just feel like these get um, a better cleanse and this is awesome so yeah I don't have any favorite handbag for the month because I didn't really go anywhere this past month and I was just using a wallet so yeah that's it I hope you guys enjoyed this favorites video I will leave all the products and videos linked down below if you have any comments or questions feel free to leave me a comment and I will see you in the next video bye